Hello Nijin and welcome to our Parent Team Talk for May. Over the past few Parent Team Talks, we've introduced a portion of scripture called the Shema from Deuteronomy 4 verse, sorry, 6 verse 4 to 9. And uh, there's so many powerhouse uh, kind of principles and ideas around parenting from this. Uh, we're going to start picking up from verse 4 today. Verse 4 says, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. And so this is really about imagining the end. Everything is about God. If we don't start with God, we're going to end up in the wrong place. Life is not primarily around the nations, around church, or even about family. It's actually all about God. And so you, seem, you, you see, Moses seems to be making the point that it really doesn't matter what our kids know if they don't know what really matters. Uh, and he's saying it's going to be absolutely heartbreaking if our children kind of cross over into this land flowing with milk and honey and live uh, in a life of prosperity and that is experientially rich if they don't know God. He is saying to the Israelite people, keep the main thing, the main thing. Remember this. Everything starts with this. The Lord our God, the Lord is one. You see, the shift from trusting God to trusting in things is gradual. And when that shift happens, we are standing on a precipice. When it comes to a battle for the heart, what is temporary has a way of crowding out what is eternal. This is why focus is so important. Moses was, wasn't worried about the Israelites becoming atheists. He was worried about them losing their focus and their prior, as a result, their priorities beginning to shift. So when we think around God, his character, his love, his, his eternal nature, his love that flows throughout all generations, in the midst of our chaos, when we just focus for a moment and we think around this, it brings a sense of clarity. Now, unfortunately, when it comes to parenting, we as parents are quick to pick up the yardstick that the culture gives us by, uh, and kind of measure our kids' success or our parenting success with that, uh, with that yardstick, which is not a good measure of success. And we begin to think things like what schools our kids go to, what friends they have, who they marry, what career they take is of ultimate importance. Now, these things are important, but they are not the most important thing. What the most important thing here is, is that our kids know who Jesus is and that they love him. And so this is really about imagining the end. And once we imagine the end, where do we want our kids to be? It comes back down to this thing of like, we want them to love Jesus and to know Jesus. And so since the day of Moses, this Shema, this Deuteronomy um, four, uh, 6 verse 4 to 9, was hanging on their doorposts. And there were uh, parents were reminded of it continually throughout the day. And my challenge to you, for this week is uh, even for this month is to create a, a tangible reminder in your home. It could be every time you switch on a light, uh, every time a, a tap runs, or maybe you've got an old grandfather clock that chimes. Let let something, maybe it could be when you brush your teeth, let something be a tangible reminder that God is God and He is good. Uh, and let this be the big picture of your home. A last thought uh, is that we can't compete with God. This is something that we try. I try to do at times, and it's so, so foolish that we try to be God in our kids' lives. We need to point our children towards God. Yes, and of course, we have authority, and we need to lead and influence our kids, but we never need to pretend or, or try to be God in, in their lives. Only He can forgive them. Only He can love them unconditionally. We like to think we can, but we can't. Only He can save them. Only He can give them eternal life. Only He is God, and we, we are not. The Lord our God, the Lord is one. As I finish... Uh, let me, let me remind us, let's imagine the end, keep the end in mind. Let's stay focused, let's create a tangible reminder in our homes, and let's not comp try to, to compete with God in our parenting. As a last note, let me encourage you towards our parenting course launching this Tuesday. Uh, it's on Zoom uh, after pre-meeting for 50 minutes on Tuesday nights. Uh, it's going to be an awesome time going through a book around gospel principles around parenting. You can find more details at newgen.co.za forward slash PC, parenting course. God bless, have an awesome week.